ーク」もロンドンも八丈島のすぐ隣にやってくる What up everybody? Hey, camera's over there. Time for another exciting ep、uh, episode of Ring Fist. More exciting adventures doing squats and squeezing things into our stomachs. Getting uncomfortable, like just borderline uncomfortable. That's kind of where this, this,、uh, this game is good. It's good at putting you there. I, so I experimented a little bit.、Um, I don't have a filter or anything for it. I think this is just. Yeah, so. This is confusing. So I would, if I rotate the camera, I can like almost get like a full body view. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. You guys can tell me if,、uh, which one you prefer. I don't have any f like border for it or anything like that, so it's gonna look pretty, pretty dumb. But、eh. the problem is gonna be that the webcam mount I'm using is not good. It's very cheap. So. What do you guys think? Do you just want the, the vertical one? Or do you want the, the, little, the little guy I have to keep refocusing? Yeah, normally it's just. I guess the. You want the vertical one? Alright. Vertical one is very clever. You think it's clever? I've experimented with trying to use the camera like this、uh, rotated and vertical. Uh, with the like rhythm game stuff I do, but it's it's very challenging to like. Just using cheap, cheap junk.、Um, and it, it's, not, it's not because I'm cheap, it's because like. I don't know, it's really difficult to.、Uh, To find gear that does what you need it to when you're buying it online. Like, specifically, I need gear that like, can lock out in a sp few specific joints. And Amazon doesn't really tell you that.、Um, reviews don't really tell you that. That's like something you have to put your hands on it to figure out. So sometimes I get stuff that's like, probably good for some circumstances, but not what I'm using it for. In this case,、uh, a webcam affixed to the end of a mount. Also, like, the thing, I also have like a, a metal desk. It's a very thin desk. It's very hard for clamps to securely gra grasp it. So, like, just, at, just by default, this thing has like a leaning angle of 15 degrees, which makes like getting every shot sort of rotated properly extremely challenging. Okay, that might do it. It looks like I'm like leaning forward the entire time, but I'll like what. That's not bad. That looks good. <sighs> Use some duct tape? Uh, man. <laughs> so Stephanie,、um, Stephanie has taste. And because she has taste, I have taste. So, I'm not allowed to have. I refuse to add. Um. Wait, what? Oh, wrong one. I refuse to, uh. Make my situation tackier. Let me try something. Maybe I can just add a little splash of flavor on this thing. Yeah, let's try this. Huh. Oh darn! Doesn't seem to be working. I was hoping I could put a cute little drop shadow on my、uh, my webcam, but for some reason it doesn't show up. That's bizarre. Oh well. Wait, what is this? Does this work? No. None of these work. What's with that? Hmm. I guess you can't put filters on a source mirror. All right. Enough of that. Duct tape is taste. <laughs> It's my white trash culture. Yeah, did you ever?、Uh, I think there were a couple of duct, duct tape tuxedos at my prom. Duct tape wallets. 
Hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock it. You can solve most problems with duct tape and WD-40. How's that workout mat? For the life of me, I can never find a good one. It's a, it's a cheap one. I bought it, you know, it was like a basic mat on Amazon 10 years ago. It's getting all scraped because I've stepped on it with shoes a couple of times. So depending on the intensity of my workout, uh, like I used to do um, insanity CrossFit stuff on this and that that tore chunks off of it every time. So basically I'd have to vacuum up little, little pieces. Uh, okay, right. Have to... Have to get started. How's everybody doing today? Used to make duct tape wallets in middle school? It seems like something I would have worn and been into, but for some reason I just never did. Not the most flattering angle. But that's okay. That's why we work out, so every angle's flattering. About to leave work? Ooh, you're in the twilight hours of your shift? Love it. There we go. You're pulling an all-nighter to fix your sleep, huh? I've actually found that capability in myself, yeah. Just like stay awake for an extra amount of time to sort of reach that stuff. Keep your posture straight. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. Make sure my tummy Good. doesn't spill out. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. This stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes, looking great. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on your form when raising your arms. This stretch works your core as well. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. As you get comfortable doing this stretch, make sure you're still making large movements. This stretch works your back. Let's do one more of each. Great job! You got the new Mario Party? I read a review of it that said it was pretty good. Well, to be honest, I, I like saw a headline of a review that it was pretty good. I feel like Mario Party. Can you play it online? Ring fit is so different from the black metal pull heavy weights workouts I'm used to. It's a lot more upbeat. Yeah. I think like some people respond to that kind of intensity and aggression for exercise. But this is, it tries to be much more broad in its appeal. Oh, you've been playing with Ethan? Okay. Buff stick, hey. Green is from Belgium. Ooh. Welcome. Greetings from Los Angeles, California. And reading that the headline is the new reading. Well, it's it's like how much time do you have in a day, right? You can't read every single article that recommendation algorithms and stuff surface. So I still read articles, but like maybe like two a day. Not that bad, I don't think. So my uh, my experience palette is much broader than the things that I just have a glimpse of because you get a lot of glimpses. of Ah, oh, game gym thing. Battle gym. Ugh. I have to do all quests as soon as I get them. Well, at least it'll just be a fight. 
Oh yeah, Isaac. Uh, QAnons who were waiting for JFK Jr. to appear. Or I guess some of them were also waiting for JF or JFK himself to show up and transfer power back to Donald Trump or something. Just incredible. It was supposed to be today. Today was the day. It's um It's really interesting because like as movements like that go on, um kind of fringe people, people who are kind of into it, start flaking off. But then it's a distillation. What's left is just like the crystallized essence of insanity. And that's where we're getting, I guess. Yeah, the conservative JFK. Yeah. Steph was telling me about it. Another article I didn't read, but... Steph has her uh, finger on the pulse. Okay, let's select a skill. Evolve Crescent Lunge Pose. Starting position. Try and keep your lower body still. Slowly twist to the left. Yeah, I'm getting down there. My uh, half is just out Slowly twist right to the left. sense to me. It is like, it is like, uh, twist a little more. Those forms are like a, uh, incubator for trolling, really. They try to troll each other all the time. So it makes sense that the stickiest troll is the one that makes it out of that ecosystem. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch oh, legs. Buff? Yeah. Slowly twist to the right. Yeah, you probably can't hear me over the game. Slowly Maybe I should turn the ducking back the on. Right. Slowly twist to the right. Slowly twist to You're the right. You're supposed to be this close to the microphone. Slowly twist to the right. There. Now the game will duck when I talk. Make it easier. Oh, wait. I forgot you can have your heel off the ground for this one. That's it. Twist the I was trying to do this with my heel down. That's why I felt so... Slowly return to the starting position. So tight. You should feel the targeted areas being worked. To get one of those workout instructor headset mics. I agree. That would be awesome. Ooh. This one's fun. Make sure that everything's tucked away before I start bouncing around. And get canceled today. Oh, big ope. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate ya. The um the audio ducking helping at all? It's not gonna make me louder, it's gonna make the game quieter. And hopefully make me just easier to hear when I'm away from Mike like this.
move super energetically. Right, left, 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 right. Oh, rhythmic, I gotta turn on the fan. I keep forgetting. Actually, I had skill points to spend. Uh... Okay, let's move. Slowly lower your range. Fine work. Nice. Okay. Sharp! Fantastic! Excellent! Very nice! Amazing! Neat! Fantastic! Great! Wonderful! Great! 30 more! Great! Amazing! Keep it up! Well done! Perfect! Alright! Awesome! Good job! Nicely done! Nice! Fantastic! Yes! Yes! Amazing! Alright! 20 more! Okay! Nicely done! Fine work! Amazing! Fantastic! Wonderful! Okay! Awesome! Great! Great! Let's pick up the pace! Yes! Yes! You got it! Okay! Ten more! Okay! Neat! Fantastic! Great! You got it! Five more! Good job! Nice! Well done! Great! One left! Perfect! Hey. Feel this in your legs? Yeah? That's good about... Really good about using body weight. Bodies turn from thick to defined. Yeah, cosmic cats. There's like four different attack groups, and each one the appendage like gets ripped. I really like the uh, core ones, it's like a belly that just goes bang, turns into six packs, and then smacks something. It's so good. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. <laughs> Uh, Higurov, just this game. Select a skill. As far as I know, this is the only game that uses the ring controller at all. But I think it's worth it. There aren't a whole lot of like single single peripheral games that I would say are worth it. But this, like DJ Hero, had like two games. Ooh, Ogun Speakable. Thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you very much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna twist these enemies away. This one, this one's dedicated to you. Brings a little awkward Wait. here. Your 
breathing as you twist. Cruise expeditions when you graduate. Got a cruise deals app. Set it to cheapest just to see. A five day cruise to the Bahamas for $24 a day. Leaves in three days though. Ooh. Check the uh check the reviews on that line. But I get I could see why cruises would be really cheap. I'm trying to get people back in. There aren't people well, there aren't people knocking down the doors to go either. Oh jeez. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Hey, what's up, Jesse Boose? Hello. Does this terrify you? Really? Just because of a like COVID perspective? Or? Yeah. Worryingly cheap. Stay honest. That's the perfect phrase for what that is. Uh, your back is just... Hmm... Right? I want to do this. I don't know how much HP that other little guy has. I don't think he has much. And then I can probably do knee, knee raise on the other one. Let's do this. Okay, let's move. Hold it away from your face to aim. Good job. Perfect. Nice. Sharp. Keep it up! Neat! Wonderful! Okay! Well done! Excellent! Excellent! Fantastic! Good job! Okay! Okay! Amazing! Excellent! Neat! Nicely done! Very easy! Increase your pace! Alright! Alright! Fine work! Five more! Very nice! Come on! Yes! Yes! Ugh. Okay, let's switch sides! Crap, I'm not gonna get either of them with this set. I didn't do that! Stop freaking out. Right. Right, give me a break. <sighs> okay, Isaac, yeah. You pay nothing, or you get nothing for that price. It's just the room. Pay for everything else on board. Wouldn't want that kind of cruise anyway. You want the luxe experience? Where you can just, like, drive by and grab a burger whenever you want kind of thing? 140-day expedition from Florida through Panama. Australia and then up to the top of Europe for a cool 60k. 60k, you can buy your own boat and do that and then have a boat. <laughs> I guess. I don't, can a $60,000 boat go across the ocean? Maybe? <laughs> I feel like you'd also have to train for a while. Buy a lot of other stuff to go on the boat. It's an interesting concept, though. With enough guts it can. Yeah. <laughs> With a proper seafaring spirit. That's a good question. What about that, for, like a prompt for a game show? What's the least amount of money you can spend to get across the ocean? Uh, I guess you could just like, hmm. But you have to do it yourself, right? You can't book, you can't book passage anywhere else. People have rowed across the ocean. No shit. It's like an individual. An individual with two arms, two legs, a whole lot of ramen noodles, and a bunch of podcasts <laughs> rode across the ocean. 
Almost any boat can get you across the ocean. Depends on how many pieces you wanted in on the other side. Good point. Went on a jungle cruise for the first time, and that was enough boat for me for a lifetime. Really? Start staying in shape with the great food we've got in LA. It's tough. I mean, I I think that's just no matter where you are, you can usually find something worth. It. Um, I'll I won't I won't deny that it is like having a ton of great choices, even in individual meals, does make it a bit more challenging. Yeah. If uh. If, like, I'm trying to eat healthy, I go to a restaurant and all they have is a chicken salad, then I guess I'm getting a chicken salad. But, like, if there's a lot of good stuff that's not all fried, um, giving up, uh, I'm basically tabling cocktails and stuff because that was, that was an, a neat, like, extra four to five hundred calories with a given meal is having, like, a couple of cocktails. And, yeah, LA, LA's got a pretty good drinking scene, too. A lot of, uh, good bartenders and, and really interesting drinks. Yeah. Okay, let's move. Like you're pulling a bowstring taut. Fine work. Keep it up. Well done. Nice. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Awesome. Great. Okay! Amazing! Great! Great! Oh. I will say that was kind of a... Something I talked myself into over the pandemic. Like ordering a bunch of delivery to support restaurants. But, you know, these dope. High calorie food. And, uh, you know, often during most pandemic days, that was the only variety I got. It was either that or whatever I could cook here. So, I didn't I didn't gain a lot of pandemic weight, but I didn't lose anything. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. I told myself pandemic was going to be my hyperbolic time fitness chamber. Uh, logically, it should have been, but I think, I think often I'm noticing a trend in my life where I will, like, logically set myself to a goal, and that... Goal setting doesn't acknowledge anything about my emotional state or my emotional need. And then I and then it kicks off this cycle where I don't meet that goal because of my emotional needs, causing me to only resent them. Uh, and then tr try further to like subdue them or subjugate them. I don't know. It's a weird cycle that goes on in my head. But I don't know I don't know if it's like either factor in emotions to my goal setting or just acknowledge that emotions are gonna change them. I guess both. I guess both. Wait, there are like websites where you can boat hitchhike? There are tons of websites where people post where they are sailing and you can just join them as crew? Do you have to be trained? If you're just like, I've never been on a boat in my life, they'll still take you? Yeah, everyone said their pandemic was gonna be their insert goal here time, that's true. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess I did like kind of build a business a little bit. Um, it remains to be seen how, how large it grows, but I guess that's something I can pat myself on the back about. Fine work! Wonderful! And that's like the beginning of a Stephen King novel. Fantastic! He's trying to start his life over joints boat, Neat. and they find an ancient relic or something. Nicely done! Well, I almost everything about selling in one week IMO is really not hard. Okay. I just didn't know if, uh... Let's keep going! I didn't know what the culture was like. I didn't know if random crews could even make use of somebody. I mean, if they're... If, I guess if you have two hands and you're willing to work, you can clean, you can scrub. Swab deck. People still do that? Are there... Does deck still need swabbing? Alright! Yeah! Yeah! Keep it up! Good job! Neat! Very nice! Well done! One left! Flawless! Flawless! Like the way it says. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. See, I got the big sparkle guard that time. And I'm not even pushing it into my tummy that hard. I don't know, ab guard is a little funky in this game. This for me. A tough one, but you can do it. I can do it. Thanks, Tip. Okay, good. 
<laughs> Very deep. Uh, maybe I will do this. Fuck. I don't want to do... I don't want to kill a gobhoplin. I don't have any other attacks that hit a lot of things, though. Are you supposed to squeeze your abs? Yeah, it's... So, you push this into your stomach, but it's more of like a, a physical feedback thing so that you push your abs against it. So the idea is you tighten your abs and sort of hold them rigid to, to resist against the ring pushing into your stomach. Pushing into your stomach doesn't do anything. You have to, like, kind of push against it. That's the idea. Um, they do a better job of sort of walking you through it, but if you're just watching me do it, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Overhead squat. Fuck you. They make you go so low for these assholes. Be a good, good test of the new camera angle. Okay, let's go. Be sure not to bend your lower back when you raise your arms. Nice. Nice. Neat. Keep it up. Dante, just FYI, I am playing this on maximum difficulty. You can set your difficulty, which sets the number of reps you have to do and how much damage you do and take. And because I'm a gamer, I'm playing this on maximum difficulty, which means all the sets are super long. Oh. Squeezinator? Or Squeezinator, excuse me. Watch me play this forever ago and bought it and need to start using it again. It's really good. Really, really good. Oh, you're on difficulty 13? So how many how many reps do you have to do? Uh, I obstinately set it as high as it would go and have never changed it since. So I don't know what, like, I don't know what the game on normal is like. Uh, 16? Okay, Jesus. Wow. Okay, wow, that really does scale up then. Uh, that's okay. I just take breaks. Um really not that bad I'm probably as usual under serving myself by being so stubborn Box. Uh. Great! Perfect! Good job! Nice! Amazing! things into perspective eating junk food watching a dude work out yeah the scarier perspective will be how many calories junk food is versus how many calories this game estimates i burn sucks it should at least be equal right fucked up Ugh. Neat! Nicely done! Very nice! Yeah. You eat more than I burn? I can guarantee you're gonna eat more than this, but unfortunately. Oh, how I wish. 
or the other way around. Or, like you eat a 600 calories of Cheeto, suddenly that 600 calories burned off of me. And again, we're just back to seeing thinner disease. Oh. Humans are super efficient at walking and running. Brutal if you use it for calories. Yeah, and that's what I did. That's what I did for like 15 years. I ran so much because I thought, I thought that's how you lost weight. That's how you burned fat. But I was overeating the whole time too. So all I got were, I guess, I got some pretty bomb ass legs out of it. So at least something came with me. Uh, okay, all right. All right. Yeah, we need to figure out con calorie transference. So that's an interesting idea for the future. Calorie transference, so you can like, you can be paid to be a calorie dump for rich people. Like you take 300 calories a day, you gotta work out a little extra, but you get like $50 a day for it. I gotta write that down. The dumb newsletter idea. That's like at least one page worth of a short story right there. Oh, Faucant. Thank you very much for the resub. Yeah, or you could stop world hunger. That's true. That's true. Forgot about that one. But like, that means people that can't afford food would have to get a calorie transference implant. Maybe the company could sponsor it. Hmm. I could see that. Like some pharma tech company flying to an impoverished nation and setting up a free implant stand. reading this short story when I was a kid and for some reason this like this idea jogged the memory um it was about this like town where a mysterious ice cream parlor opened up and the ice cream was like the most delicious thing you'd ever eaten in the world and it was free um so some kids went in there got some free ice cream they told their kid their friends about it everyone went and just went nuts for this ice cream and it was free so they kept giving it out then all the kids got super fat. Like, this was straight up the plot of the story. Everyone was getting really fat. So then another store opened up where they would just zap the body fat off you. You went to a machine and came out and you were skinny again. The only difference was they would, like, pinprick your wrist. That's it. Uh, and, like, after, like, kids would eat so much ice cream and they get so much fat zapped off them that they started to have bracelets of, like, pinpricks. And the story was like, yeah, kids thought it was fashionable. It's like you're wearing a bracelet at all times. And it was kind of like a... It kind of ended there. I don't, unless I just didn't finish reading it. But I remember thinking, like, that's a really interesting idea. A really interesting, like, kind of case study of human dynamics. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a parable for anything. It just kind of ends. Um, but I guess it, what it did sort of, I guess what it did leave me with was a lasting impression about how malleable people are. <laughs> uh, or how much they can get used to. I guess would be the idea. I was like, yeah, that, that actually does feel pretty accurate. People would start eating this ice cream without thinking about it if it makes them feel good enough. And then they would accept any remedy for that cause, no matter the cost. Uh, even if the cost is really light. That's kind of the thing, right? You expect some kind of Twilight Zone twist, where it's like, whoa, you lose a fingernail or something weird like that. No, just a little boop. That's it. So yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, uh, kind of always stuck with me. Okay, I'm squat. I'm squat. Damn it. Okay, there's only a couple more. I only have to do six more slow ones. Eesh. Yeah, it sounds like a creepy pasta, right? Pretty creepy pasta. Fine work. Nice. All right. Perfect. Wonderful! Very nice! Uh. 
All right. Uh. Oh man. What my group exercises. realized no uh no shakes means you can't heal oh damn i don't have a healing exercise either i never set one because i was like i'll always just use a shake a shaker if i need to uh oh i don't know which enemies do the most damage huh this might be a problem Bat farm in Maps in a Mirror by Orson Scott Card. A little different from what you were discussing. When the elite get too fat from their hedonistic lifestyles, they go to a place where a fresh body is cloned, their consciousness is transferred to it. I'll save the rest in case you or anyone decides to read it. I would guess the story that I read was, was lightly plagiarized from that. Um, or uh, adapted for a little kid's book. Probably like some shitty sci-fi writer <sighs> sent a short story to like a magazine or something. I don't know. This music does slap, Higaroth. I'm glad you, I'm glad you noticed that. I like this music a lot. Okay. Let's hope and pray that I kill some of these things. I can't take too, too much damage, really. Baka, thanks for the prime. It's a good day on this 
this this glorious weebs day Ugh. keep squeezing there we go okay what what are you doing okay that's not so bad it's actually good Brain, its juices on me. Oh, okay, weird. Select the skill and good luck. Huh. Oh, okay. At the mercy of uh. Now, if I take. I think I'm gonna attack the shaker. Did you figure out the inconsistency in getting full power in Abgard? Not yet, actually, Booska. What I've learned is that if I roll it back and forth, like laterally, to kind of change the angle that it's squeezing in on the Joy-Cons, then sometimes I can get it to trigger. And if once I get it to pop, if I just hold it there, then it's good. So I'm kind of figuring out how to explore the motion. Um, in a weird way, it does kind of... That's the most like old-school motion control thing I've felt about this game. Uh, where you have to kind of like explore and find the boundaries of what is and isn't acceptable. You have to kind of reverse engineer what the game is looking for. What's so bizarre is it can detect like compression in every other circumstance. I would assume Abgard is exactly the same. It's just like degree of tension. The opening screen gets it just fine. Every other every other like mini game is 100% accurate. Well, I mean it is motion. Like there's always some fuzz in the analog world, so I'd say 95%. Enough to enough to play an enjoyable video game with. Okay. Makes you want to get back into this game? Good. I'm gonna be honest, like, Warrior One. I I stream this game because I think it's really good, and I want to like, I, I I enjoy like more people seeing it. But honestly, like my 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 underlying motivation with, with kind of putting myself out here in this way is to encourage other people to do it, or at least remind them that you know fitness is something we should be thinking about on a daily basis. Um, Maybe some funkiness with the accelerometer. Um, so this is actually a brand new switch. Uh, I got one of the OLED switches. So this is a brand new Joy-Con. Um, uh, maybe swapping out with a drifting stick. I haven't done that on this, uh, no. And I don't know, I, I thought about, see I just have the neon Joy-Cons now. I thought about um, swapping out the cases with some uh, Maybe I just want to enjoy it <laughs> the way it is from the factory for a little bit. I think I'm gonna do that. Usually with the uh, stuff, I, I'm in a rush to like swap it out. Speaking of though, uh, yeah, it could be a million things. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be. So I'm I'm getting closer. I at least have something to troubleshoot. I think I'll be able to dial it in. It'll be fine. It's generally a non-issue because I can just drink as many smoothies as I want. So having an un unoptimal guard really doesn't matter. Um, but I can't drink smoothies. I'm so much more important. <sighs> oh, Gordon, you like that theme channel button? I came across that on the internet last night, and I was like, God damn. I need someone else to see this. And, uh, Stephanie would stab me, I, th I think. Not into that. Okay, this one you gotta have the heel down for. Uh, for your one. Slowly bend to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. Don't let your bent knee extend beyond your heel. Peg me. Without power for six days? Slowly bend to the left. Thank God. Back.
Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget Reading to switch with a legs. Flashlight for, reading books with a flashlight for entertainment. Dang. Well, at least you got some uh, quicker now, are they? Oh, welcome to living in the bush. Okay. That, is that common there? Man, I haven't seen that that side of Australia. I've just been to, like, Melbourne and Sydney. In civilized Australia. But I had a wonderful time. What was the, um... Are you from Melbourne? I had, I had a really good time there, but I'm also a crunchy, liberal, West Coast, California hippie. Kind of makes sense. To me, that city was like... Like, what if Austin, Texas actually did live in the future? I got, I got thoughts about Austin. What if, what if it wasn't surrounded by... You can try for a right angle, but don't overextend yourself. Try for a right angle. I don't know what the fuck Slowly. Skip is on about with that shit. Starting can any human actually, like, can any human tip over 90 degrees? So, oh, the Onyx, it's... I don't know, just having, like, visited the city, Austin, that is. I guess the first time I went was in the late 90s. Sort of seeing it over the course of like I don't know. Of course, the last 20 years it just seems to me like it just became every other Texas city, mass-produced, like similar-looking, quote-unquote luxury apartments. Um, I don't know. But I guess, I guess to some degree it is impossible to separate my impression of the city from Bruce Routhe the company. I don't know anything about Texas, so I'm ready to make up my entire opinion about it. Ah, you shouldn't for me. I'm I'm like the least unbiased person, I guess. Alright, let's see if I can get You should feel it in your stomach. It's not ah, no. There it goes, for some reason. Ah. Where's the best place you've been? That's an interesting, Don't push challenging. It. Take a break if you need to. Ask. Um. Like city? Or like place that I've traveled? Here are the gob hop. Um. This was Only Austin, we need to know about a stone cold. There you go. Uh, it's a, it's a cool place, but yeah, it's, I think the Keep Austin Weird movement lost. Kind of, it's kind of my take, I guess. I don't know anything about the uh, texture of the city, and and would be speaking fully out of my ass if I had any theory about about why, or even if that is true, just from my like, which is unfortunate, but. That's just one person's take. Country or city, I guess. Hmm. I guess actually no Tokyo. Um, yeah, Tokyo for sure, 100%. When I think about it, best trip I've ever had. Yeah, most am most amazing place. Learned a lot. Saw so many different things. Had such wonderful meals. Um, yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo is the kind of place where like I could spend an entire. I can fully see myself like spending an entire lifetime there. And not even, not even feeling like I understand. Um, to me, Tokyo is like it's like what if Rome never had a regime change? And, and granted, like there have been phases to Tokyo, but um, or to Japan really. But it's like it is truly like a millennial city, and I mean that in terms of like it's been there for it's been there for millennia and has never really been leveled. <laughs> I don't think. Um, so it's just kind of built over itself and on itself and under itself and into itself over and over. You ride the bullet train? Yeah. I, I rode the, uh, I rode a high-speed rail from Tokyo to Kyoto. It was also really cool. There's actually, there's video of it in, um, and okay, since it's let's go. Wednesday, Both the higher like possibility. Okay. Perfect. 
Yeah, Ox. Um, are you from Austin? Because I feel really bad saying things like that, not having lived there for any stretch of time, but that is my distant take, is that Austin is a city that, you know, it all came down to money in the end. Um, like it often does. I can't, I, in my life, I haven't seen a whole lot of circumstances where it doesn't. I conduct my affairs in a certain way, but, uh, yeah, when things get to a certain size, no beat dollar. Oh, you're not from there? Okay. Well, Good job. I didn't want to be the only one saying it, basically. All right. Uh, but I still like to visit whenever I have a chance. Arcade UFO bucks. Shout outs. Go to Arcade UFO in Austin, Texas if you ever get the chance. Uh, they got they got good condition, updated rhythm games. Uh, they got headphone jacks. Everything's working. Um, it's next to a convenience store. You can grab like grab some snacks if you want. It's a great spot. They stream fighting game tournaments sometimes. Ooh, Radiant Leviathan, thank you for the bit. Where am I? That bit is gonna balance out my posture. That bit's going right between. Shoulder blade. I'm gonna pinch that bit, bang, right between those guys. Ugh. A good upright posture. Great! Great! An affordable awesome! Um, I don't know if they have, like, nice. they might have MDC2 running on a console, one of those dudes. Um, that's how they do, like, Tekken and stuff. Kind of, like, do dedicated fighting game cabs even? I guess they do. I see it on one. I love going to school there. Lived there for five years. Uh, but it's just overwhelming. Helps me come to appreciate good old El Paso, Texas. I had a I had a roommate in college that was from El Paso. El Paso seems like a really interesting uh, city. I've only driven through it, um, but yeah, true border town, right? Like parts of the highway, literally half and half. Really interesting city. Nice. Fantastic. Oh. Radiant, Radiant Leviathan following up with the 100 bits. Yes! Yes! That's a lot of bits to squeeze between the shoulder blades, but I'll try to fit him in there. Excellent! Okay! Very good! Increase your pace! Well done! Oh. Okay, let's switch sides. <laughs> yeah, I bet I would have liked going to school in Austin. I went to school in Dallas. Um, okay, which let's was, go. You know, for somebody who just kind of like liked tech and wanted to go to cheap restaurants and largely play video games at home, Dallas was a good spot. I'm gonna grill. Uh, so I, I had a good time in that city. Uh, being a 20-something was a little different, though, because um, I didn't, like, wasn't super into bars. Um, I'm sure that there were, like, there were probably, like, nerd circles and nerd clubs I could have joined, but it ended up feeling really lonely. Did you go to SMU? No, uh, I went to UPD uh, in Richardson, Texas, but close enough to Dallas to claim the claim the word, I guess. Oh, my gosh. What? What? No way. Yo! I did not know you could do this. Oh, my God. These are Velcro. Holy shit, you can take them off and wash them. I usually just, oh, I've just been spraying them down with like, I have this like gym cleaner. What? I've never done that. Oh, I got to do that. Oh no. <laughs> I know that, that's crazy. Oh, good on you, Nintendo. This is actually a really solid piece. Of I didn't know. I've never even tried to pull on that thing. I didn't know it was, I thought it was just stitched. Like it's really solidly stitched. So I thought it was just like, you grew up in Dallas. Um, I grew up in Azel, a smaller city northwest of Fort Worth, the FW Metroplex. Never noticed a Texan accent, but I guess the cities don't have one. I had a huge, and I'm gonna say adorable, Texas accent until I was in like junior high to high school. Um, because at that point, I was in a small town. I was only around other people to talk that way. And like the only, the only time I got exposed to new people was at church. 
they all had really thick accents too. But around that time, I started like watching PBS on TV and watching more like content that wasn't. So just by hearing non-Texas accents, sort of just kind of faded away. Um, I guess it's because I started spending more time with that than with people who spoke in Texas accents. Now, the thing is, it's still in there. And if, if somebody speaks to me in that accent, I'll just kind of click into it immediately. Um, especially if I've had a few drinks. I've, I've freaked Stephanie out a couple of times because like, there was one particular Christmas we were in Austin for the Rooster Teeth holiday party. And I had had some drinks at the party and we were taking an Uber to go home. And I was just talking with the driver and she was like losing her mind in the back seat. And it happened. How do we activate Texas Lawrence? You have to get me drunk and talk to, talking to another Texan. Sure your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all level. Just knee on legs. Okay. Gotta come down Amazing. to Florida, get some sun. I mean, I'm in California. We got sun here. Okay. Perfect. You know what? Uh, nice. you don't get sun doing. Wonderful. Gaming. Gamer legs. Okay. Keep it up. Good job. Because if somebody approaches Fantastic. me on the battlefield, I can just yank my jorts up and blind them with my thigh. Boom! Get Brian Gar to drink with you? Yeah, pretty much. Which I'm I still want to go to Texas and just hit the bars with Brian. I feel like that dude would be great to crush a few beers with. Fine work! Awesome! Good job! Me! I'm so Cal and I actively practice mixing in a Chicago accent. Otherwise I sound like Tom DeLong from Blink 182. Boy! <laughs> God. Oh, it's so good. What was with that? I guess I guess it was like just like the pop punk wave of trying to be Boston. What did that start with? It couldn't have been like Dropkick Murphy, right? Or was it really just Tom DeLonge had like a weird Boston accent? Yeah, built-in flashbang, exactly. Brian Gar sometimes? I should. Okay. Well done! Pick my ass in Mario Kart. Amazing! Excellent! Nicely done! Yes! Yes! Fair to find another JRPG respecter in this world. This ass needs to get on Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know what he's waiting for. Text him. They have a free trial, you know, including the award winning. Endwalker's coming up. Ooh, I'm so excited for Endwalker. Great! This is gonna be the first time, like, ever that, uh, All right. I'm in a, like, a life position where I can actually just kind of say no to everything and do nothing but stream an MMO when it comes up. Um, it's, uh, I've always been curious what that's like. A no life, an MMO for a little bit. Watching as I'm leveling my 14 crafters. Yeah, I haven't level crafting or gathering at all in Fortnite. Okay. Um, they're changing it for Endwalker though, Come right? On. Five more. Or like. Good job. Are those changes gonna ricochet through levels nice. like zero through fifteen? Excellent. Or, through or are they just changing Good. it from like That'll eighty to ninety? That'll keep going. Watching as you're leveling your fourteen crafters. Nailed I mean, it is. It is Weeby Wednesday. I've been meaning to put more time into 14 measures. Move super energetic. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, they overhaul crafters and gathers every patch. Okay. Great hustle. Keep it up. So if you level from like level one all the way up, you'll go through all those mechanical changes each 10 levels, basically. <laughs> They're removing HQ items in Endwalker. We get more change clarification in the upcoming live letter. Okay. Ooh. That attack! Outrageous. Never touch New World. Uh, I played one of the early access periods, yeah. And my feeling, my gut, after playing it for like five to six hours was like, 
This is the like World of Warcraft leveling experience, but after having seen a glimpse of what the end game was supposed to be, the PvP, I was like, I'm not interested. I am a. Uh, I'm fully yoys inside my yad. <laughs> I'm as naturally constrained vocal cords. Listen, damn it. And when he decided he wanted to sing more melodically, he had to elongate vowels in order to push more power while maintaining the notes. Otherwise, he'd fry his throat. Elongating those sounds on top of his San Diego accent pushed him into cartoon surfer territory. That's a really interesting breakdown, Busca. Hmm. I've, uh... I've only recently... I took a few vocal coaching classes, and it really did kind of open up my brain and perception to how, uh... The ability to push air and sound and power influences sometimes the sounds you choose to make. You know what I mean? Um, kind of like, you know, you said it yourself, really. Uh, I don't need to... I, I would just reiterate what you're saying less intelligently. But yeah, um, the idea that, you know, certain ways of pronouncing certain long vowels uh, allow you to, like, channel air through different parts of your body. It's pretty cool. What's really fun is like most singers, most singers have some sort of, uh, even performers I think, have like an internal, an entirely personal understanding of how they channel air throughout their bodies, how they express emotion and how they sort of like, how they give their voice presence and meaning and power. And I don't know, sometimes it's fun to like hear different people describe the way that they, they channel their, their technique. I am a knee lift investor. Knee lift features are doing hot. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. Return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. Tilt directly to the side while taking care not to slouch. Bring yourself back slowly. Raise both arms and pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. Ooh, adventure. Naps. Paid. Now do the same on the opposite side. Hmm. Are cool. Be careful not to let your head fall forward. After this, I'm going to take a break from this power and on into pulls of a Bring yourself back slowly. Long day of anime. Put Not your right far. foot forward and cross your legs. And I'm stuck on what many Bend your body is forward boss and stretch the back of your left, left leg. Hold it like that for a little longer. Straighten up and switch legs. I always want to do this one like three times as long. Proeski? Start bringing or your fingertips Proeski? close Proeski? to your back leg. You gotta try a couple times. Breathe slowly as you hold. Slowly straighten up, bit by bit, starting from your lower back. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Done. Now switch legs. Yeah, the ability to push stretch the power. slowly and do your best different not to bounce. And different like note range. Bring yourself back slowly. I'm only just starting to tap that potential when you get that like like full rotate your hands chest, behind your back and grasp your left boom wrist voice. while pulling your wrist to the right. I don't have a lot of opportunity to practice way. it. But I can get loud.
bring your neck back up and That's stretch one of the fun in the opposite karaoke, direction like, as well. One of the few places stretch you're allowed to explore Don't that. overdo it. Try to bellow or to hit certain notes or... I don't know. It's interesting to explore that, but that's like the only thing you can. You're in the shower. But acoustics Bring give you a slowly. warped perception of how good your voice is. And your stretching is complete. Sometimes. Good job. I also find that like matching a singing note, sometimes you hear the sing sung note and you think it's your own voice, but... That's why sometimes in the shower, I'll like put a finger to my ear so I can hear my own voice sort of vibrating back through my skull. That makes it very easy to tell if you're... Uh, you're on note or not. Also, you know how like people don't want to hear how they sound on, on or the way they sound back through the air or echo throughout the room is is different how they sound on the microphone. I found that if you like, yeah, if you push your ear flap close to the pole, then you can kind of hear how you sound accurately. I don't know. Well, chest comes from pulling your shoulders back and down. You'll feel your voice resonate in your rib cage, tighten your abs, produce more volume and make the note more steady. Yeah, that's that's like some some good that's some good technique. Um, some of the stuff I've been opened up in was like the various chakras of the body and the sort of sounds that they can make in the like various cavities. Now you can like talk through, if you talk through your head, kind of sounds like that, but it's a little more nasal. And then you can talk through your throat, which is a little more e sounding. You can talk through your stomach, which is more of an o. Oh, you know, it's. So it's like, and you can combine those for a variety of interesting things. I, I don't know, it's, it's really neat. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just for, just for general, like, punch somebody in the chin power, yeah. Open up all seals of heaven to sing fast. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a competitive singing anime, that's what it would be. Unlock all chakras and then start floating in the air and flowing. He's fully activated. No! <laughs> Meanwhile, like, my ancestors hear it through time. My unborn children resonate throughout the fabric of the universe. <sighs> Over here singing along to all the anime OPs I don't even know the real meaning of. It's the way to do it. It's like every, what, Yakuza uh, karaoke song? It's about some dude's terminally ill wife, and we're all just like, yeah! <laughs> okay, all right. Quick break time, um, step away, take a quick shower, and I'll be back with some anime garbage. It's actually not garbage. It's a, it's a campy, fun, mm, shonen cereal. We'll call it, that's what Tales of Arise. But uh, yeah, it's, it's Weeby Wednesday, so there's going to be Weeby Clips in the meantime, so please enjoy, and I'll see y'all in just a moment. Thanks for watching. <laughs>